I will say voting in America is suspect. As a as a person who's a new voter, <coughs> as a person who's a new voter, I voted for the first time, not this not this election, on the previous election. It was my first time voting. And I remember when the first time I went, you gotta fill out like all this paper, you gotta come in with some sort of a, some sort of an identification. And then I wasn't gonna vote. Living here in New York, it really don't matter. The state is blue, always gonna be blue. There's too many too many liberals that live in New York and in places, of course, like California. But when I went yesterday, so I was like, you know what? I waited to the last minute. I was like, you know what? I walk, I'm going to walk across the street because the polling thing is right there. I walk across the street and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to vote. I'm just going to vote. And so, of course, because you have to wear masks and I've got my hat on, I, got a, I had a hoodie on, and I'm basically walking in there. And this is all you see, right? Me walking in there, this is all you see. You can't tell none of my facial, none of my facial features, nothing. I walk in there, and they're like, "What's your address? Give me your address." All right, you go over here. You walk down there. You give them your name. They ask you for your address. That's it. No identification, nothing. They don't know who you are. You could pretend whoever the hell you are. The funny thing was, after I finished my, after I finished casting my vote. I signed my name differently than I guess I signed last time because I guess apparently they apparently they knew how I signed my name last time. I guess for however I did it. And so the guy behind the counter tells me, oh, you need to re-sign because you didn't sign correctly. This is how you signed last time. And I was just like, is there no sort of like verification process? behind all of this like if that's how suspect it is going in person what is it like with mail-in ballots where you don't even you don't even know who the person it could be anybody because if all you need is a person's name and that's it all you need is the person's name and their address and then you just bubble it in and that's it how is this even legit <laughs> it's just like how is this even legit a legitimate process for naming someone who would become the president of the United States? I'm, I'm I was shocked when I walked in there yesterday, and literally walking in there fully fully masked up. You couldn't see none of my face. I had a hoodie when I walked in. I had my hat on, and I walked in there, and this is this is all that you can see. I'm walking in there like I'm coming in to vote. No one looking at me suspect, even to the point of telling me, "I'm sorry, sir, you in, you incorrectly signed the way you signed your signature. Here is how you signed the last time. Can you please sign it this way?" I was just like. What? Like I said, I, I can't. Even, I can't even imagine with mail-in ballots to just sit here and be like, "We're gonna mail all these." It, it just sounds completely fraudulent. It sounds. I don't care who you vote for, because I'm as as a person who who's new to voting. Like it don't really matter, especially from what I've seen of how things go down. Anyway, with the, with the presidency, you really don't have too much authority to do too much. There's too many games being played on either side. But realistically speaking, this process don't even, I mean, not even to be like, let me see your license. Let me see, let me see your, your license. Get some sort of like, look, look at me in the eye and be like, okay, you are this person. Go ahead and cast your ballot. You are a citizen of the country. It's just like crazy. How is this even legit? 